Hey guys, so we can see here that E4 is indeed the best move at the start of the game. Bobby Fischer used to say that, and Stockfish agrees with them. So if you play D4, I recommend switching to E4 immediately. And why not start off with a Chess Vibes course where you can look at some aggressive offbeat gambits to play after you play E4. Links in the description below, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is a lot of you guys have asked me, how do I record my videos? Like, where does this chessboard come from? Uh, how do I draw arrows? How do I get stockfish over here where I can analyze the game with it? And so it's really actually super easy. But if you're new to chess or new to playing online, you probably don't know where to find this or you might not know. And so that's what this video is going to be about. So if you already know how to use stockfish and Lee Chess, you know, analysis board, chess.com analysis board, you can stop watching. But for everybody else, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. The nice thing about this is it's completely free. It's super easy to use. It's browser based. So it runs directly from the browser. You don't need to install anything on your computer. You have two options. You got Lee Chess and you have chess.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how to do this. All right, guys, so like I mentioned, you have two options. You have chess.com. You also have Lee Chess. We're going to start with chess.com, and then we'll jump over to Lee Chess. It's basically the same thing. They just look a little bit different, feel a little bit different, and so you can choose whichever one you prefer. Now, first thing you're going to, going to want to do is go to chess.com forward slash analysis, and it'll take you to this page right here. You could also just go straight to chess.com home, and then you can go to learn and then analysis. Either way, you end up at the same place right here. Now, the first thing I want you to notice, I am not logged in, so you don't need an account to do that. Uh, to do this, it's completely free. And as soon as I start moving a piece, check this out, up here at the top right, we can see it starts to analyze the position and it's telling me what the best move is, right? It's actually telling me the top three best moves. And you can tweak this, which we'll talk about in just a second, but this is really useful if you're trying to, you know, maybe you're analyzing one of your games, you played a bad move, you're wondering why it's a bad move, as Stockfish will tell you, oh, look at that, B takes A6. Also saying F5 is a really good move for black, which is interesting. I wouldn't have thought that, but uh, you get the idea, right? You can analyze your games uh, and go from here. Now, a cool thing that you can also do, if you click down here at the bottom right, where it says setup position, my face cam is almost covering it, but not quite. You can actually go directly to a custom position. So now I'm gonna actually go ahead and move my face over here. All right, so what you can do, is look, first of all this button right here reset board will take you right to the start of the the game and then you can tweak things as you you know as you want like let's say you were looking at a king's indian position and you had a question about something you know you could set up whatever the position was i don't know something like this and then you can analyze it or you can clear the board so you click the little trash can and let's say you're looking at an end game you can set up something like this let's just put some pawns over here for white we'll say it's a bishop versus three pawns we want to see is this a win for white is this a draw what's the deal here and once we've set it up, make sure you select whose turn it is. Is it white to move or black to move? And then you can scroll down and click on load. And it takes you right back to the analysis board, white to play. And you can see this is a win, but there's only one winning move, right? F6 is the winning move. And the reason that I'm able to tell that so quickly, well, I say one winning move. Maybe these other moves are winning, but notice how the evaluation is plus 2.4. That's very large, or at least almost three points. That means it's probably a win. For white if you play f6 but if you play one of these other moves like king g4 then it get yeah see now it switches and it's zero zero which is a draw so black can can draw by playing bishop f6 because you let the bishop in and now it's blockading your pawns right whereas if you played f6 you shut it out and, sorry you shut it out from coming this way and now you're kind of threatening to push these in and get a queen so that's um kind of useful to know you can set up whatever position you would like Let's talk briefly about the settings here. So if you see this little settings icon up here on the top right, you can click on that and you can change a couple of important things. Now, most of the time I leave these defaulted, but you can change the maximum depth. So this is how long Stockfish is gonna continue analyzing the same position. You can see it's set right now to about 30 seconds and then it will stop analyzing it. For 99 times out of 100, that's gonna be plenty. Actually, even 10 seconds is usually gonna tell you what you need to know. You could probably even get away with less if you want, but I think 18 is a good place to start. If you're analyzing a really complicated position and you want to see, you know, really, really deep, what's the best move, you could go unlimited, but that's, for most people, that's, you don't need to do that. So we'll leave it on 20. Number of lines, that's how many it's going to show me. So if I change it to one, notice how now I can only see the top move. I can't see anything else. I like to leave at least three. And sometimes I'll even bump it up to five in some cases, but three is a pretty good number. And the reason this is nice is because 
it, well, for, for two reasons. Number one, in a case like this, we can very easily see that there's only one uh, winning move, right? Because we can see the top three, we can see that F6 is the only winning move. If I only had one option showing, I might not know if there's another winning move, right? So this tells me that's the only winning move. And also, let me um, go back for a second. Let's go back to set up position and I'll just go reset the board. At the start of the game, a lot of times you're in a position like this where there's multiple good moves. And if you're only looking at one, you might be tempted to think, oh, well, I have to play bishop to b5. Well, actually, look how bishop c4 is a close second. See how they're changing? And sometimes they'll jump around. Number two becomes number one, and number three becomes number one. So if it's pretty close, you can get away with playing any of these moves, right? So bishop b5, bishop c4, knight to c3, they're all good moves. Okay, so I like to leave it to where I can see a couple of different options. I think that's usually helpful. And of course, you can just ignore them and look at the top if you don't need them. But I like to have them there as an option. Okay, so that's the basics uh, for that. And I want to show you one more thing. If you click on the openings button up here. And you can see now it's showing me which opening we played. But the cool thing here is you can see out of all of these games, so 228,000 times this position has been reached, the most popular move played is bishop to b5, and you can see the win percentages. So this is super helpful if you are trying to find maybe uh, a move that you hadn't considered before. What you could do is kind of scan quickly down here and see, okay, which openings have high win percentages? Now, I'm seeing that c3 actually has one of the highest win percentages, 39%. So, okay, let's check out what C3 is. Now, I know that this is the Ponziani, but if you didn't know that, you could say, oh, the Ponziani. Maybe I want to look into this opening and see what's going on. Now, for chess.com, you do need to have a membership, I guess, to go any further. I'm seeing that now. I didn't actually know how far it lets you get. So that's one thing to keep in mind. We'll talk about this more on Lee Chess, where it's completely free, but that's an option for you. All right, I think we've covered the basics of chess.com and yeah let's go ahead and jump over to lead chess now so i'm going to go back up here i'm going to do leadchess.org forward slash analysis enter and it's going to take me again to the analysis board on lead chess now again i do not have an account notice here at the top i'm not signed in so this is totally free you don't need to have an account to do this and again it's automatically um, analyzing it for me i think the first time you come here there might only be one line being showed and so let me just show you that you click on these three bars and if you scroll down multiple lines same thing like we looked at with chess.com you can adjust that however many lines you'd like to see let's say we only want to see two uh, there we go i'm seeing two lines okay same kind of deal it's going to analyze as i keep doing it now these arrows are popping up it's showing me the top move and then it's showing me the second move, okay? Personally, I find these very distracting. So I usually turn them off. But if you like that, if you like to see that visual cue of like, oh, best move is knight to f3, next best move is this, you can leave that on, right? And see, they automatically pop up. Best move, second best move. I think, uh, do they keep going if you add more lines? Let's actually check that. So we put four lines on. Yes, so it's showing you the biggest arrow is the best move, and then it kind of goes smaller, 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 right? And you can see it's showing all four lines. If you like that, great. If not, I'll show you. You can go back over here, and I believe it is best move arrow. Okay, you can uncheck that, and now it's not showing me that anymore. I can still see them when I highlight over here if I want, which is fine, but they don't automatically pop up, which is, in my opinion, it's much cleaner, and I like that better. So tweak that however you like. And again, let's go ahead and look at the opening explorer. Now, on Lee Chess, it's down here at the bottom you click on this little book and it's going to pop up right here so again it's telling me what opening we're playing and just like we saw on chess.com it's showing me this move uh how often has it been played 30 percent win rate this one 31 percent. okay we can scroll and you know whatever um this is the master's database so this is like what are the the top players doing you have to be at least 2200 rated to be in this database there of course there are players higher than that in here so lots of gms ims top players you're going to see all their games in here this is good but i will tell you sometimes you might want to switch over to lee chess where you can see a lot more games okay 19 million games has been played with bishop c4 as opposed to the master's database only 128,000, and that's because there's a lot of lower rated players that are playing games right and lee chess is storing those I like this a lot of times when I'm doing my opening traps videos and things like that, because it's good to see what the general 
population of chess players plays as opposed to just the really good players, right? Because a lot of times in the master's database, you won't find traps and tricks and stuff because they don't just don't fall for them. But when you look on the Lee chess side, you'll see, you know, you can see some things here. Now it's still early, so everything kind of looks pretty even. But as we go further down this line, like for example, I bet after knight g5, we're going to start seeing some stuff here. Like, uh, let's see. Knight takes e4. That's interesting. You can see how the there's a pretty big win percentage for black. Yeah, this is actually a weird gambit. What's the name of this? Uh, the Ponziani Steins gambit. Yeah, somebody played this on me and actually, I think, beat me because I was confused. I didn't realize, you know, what I needed to do here. And you can see top move played is Knight takes f7, which is actually the wrong move, right? I think that's what I did too. And I got into trouble after queen h4. So the point that I'm trying to make without getting sidetracked on this gambit is that you can very quickly and easily kind of see if something jumps out as an interesting move, right? Like I was able to find knight takes e4 very quickly by noticing the win percentages. Black has a 46%, a 50, oh, a 54%. Cool. You can see here, queen e7, 73% win rate for white. That's a really bad move because it doesn't really deal with this threat. White can just take it. Um, so anyway, that's how you would analyze the... Um, Opening Explorer, like I said, switch between Masters and Lee Chess, however you, you want. In the Masters database, you know, we don't have any games with this, right? Because Masters don't play bad moves like that usually. So, all right. So you can choose whatever you would like. Um, that's the basics. That's how you get started. One more thing that I forgot to mention. I'll mention it now. Let me move my head out of the way again. You see here at the bottom, this Fen. This is just like a string of characters that represents the position. And so if you have the Fen of, of a puzzle or of a game that you want to look at, uh, or whatever, you can just paste it right in there, and then it'll load that position for you. Also, if I scroll down here, the PGN, right? If you have the PGN version, which are, where it's like the notations, basically, you can paste that in, and you click import, and it'll take you right, you know, to the game as well. So you can do the same thing in chess.com. I believe the process is a little bit different. Let me just go back and show you that real quick chess.com analysis let me see yeah here you can say paste fen or pgn so you'll paste it right in here and click load and then same kind of deal so uh that's what we have chess.com lead chess they're both free you don't need an account you can use this analysis board it's got stockfish built into the browser so you don't have to install anything on your computer super easy to use check out the opening explorer if you would like if you have questions or comments something that i didn't answer that you would like to know let me know, and I'll see about responding to that, although we do have a new baby, so it's kind of crazy at home right now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope that helped you, and don't forget E4 is the best move according to Stockfish. Check out those courses. Links in the description. We'll see you guys next time. Stay sharp, play smart, and take care.